Hi, in this episode I'm going to look into some styling tips and issues. I'll be using OpenStreetMap waterways data in shape and spatial light format, and I'll start with shape. As default, the style is fixed to the screen resolution and therefore don't give you a sense of scale. If you want this scalability, you can use map units as size reference. If you use meters as your measurement, make sure you also change the map reference system to a system based on the same unit. Now when you zoom, you will get a better sense of scale. The style has some issues at some locations. These jagged lines can be fixed by changing the line cap style to round. To further style the layer, I add a slightly broader line behind the first in a different color. This line also needs a round cap style. By using multi-layered styles, I get this kind of result. To fix it, I use symbol levels. Symbol levels tell QGIS the order to draw different parts of the symbol. You can change the order by editing the numbers. Now we have a nice style for the waterways. Let's save it. Styles can be saved as a QGIS layer style file under any name. And if you save the style as default, the style is saved under the same name and at the same location as the source file. The next time you add your layer, QGIS will automatically apply the default style. You can change your style as you want, but as long as you don't save a new default style, you can always restore it. Let's try the same data in SQLite format. It's easy to load the style from the previously created style file. And you have the same options to save the style as before. However, in SQLite and PostGIS format, you can save the style inside the database instead. For SQLite, you need to add the layer as database and not from the browser. Otherwise, the database options will not be active. When you save the style as default, you get the option to save it in the source database. To apply the style automatically when you add the layer, again you need to add it with the Spatialite layer button and not the browser. See you next time!